Hello dear students, welcome to Medical Globe. This is Dr. Hadi. Today is a very short video. That is how a peptide bond is formed in protein. Before we start the video, the, the lecture, the topic, I hope that the students know very well what is amino acid. Because without amino acid, it is a little bit difficulty. They will feel so i hope they know very well what is amino acid now come to the topic that how a bond is formed let's suppose uh, when we consider a protein and we know very well that a protein is made of small repeating units called as amino acids let's suppose these small circles each circle represents uh, an amino acid and many amino acids they are combined and we got a protein now this is a protein okay fine the question is that inside protein there are amino acids so one amino acid is linked with another amino acid there must be a bond so yes that bond is called as peptide bond and the definition of a peptide bond is already mentioned now come how it is formed in order to understand that topic i will write that one amino acid has uh, a carboxylic group uh, its right side on the alpha carbon or the central carbon and amino group on its left side this is another amino acid with its carboxylic group and amino group hydrogen and variable group r we are not concerned with this r because today's topic is not about the amino acid structure but how a bond is formed in order to uh, make our idea clear i would like to write that c o o h a little bit more open form like c o will be written as c double bond o and single bond OH here NH2 will be written as NHH it is still NH2 and it's still COOH now what will happen during bond formation that OH will be removed completely along with the bond along with the bond and do you know what will happen if that OH remove itself along with the bond that will cause a positive charge on the carbon so carbon will be electron deficient because the bond has completely gone along with OH in case of nitrogen this hydrogen is removed and this hydrogen will be removed in the form of H plus the bond will remain on the nitrogen inside the bond there are electrons so the electron will remain on the nitrogen as a result nitrogen will get a negative charge so now I'm going to remove this hydrogen and nitrogen has negative charge OH is also gone the carbon has positive charge now the OH and the hydrogen these two will combine to give us H2O fine okay this is a kind of condensation reaction where two molecules join together when water is released now a bond will be formed between that positive carbon and that negative nitrogen that bond is called as peptide bond peptide bond peptide bond dipeptide means there are two amino acids one peptide bond dipeptide does not mean two peptide bonds di peptide so do not think di two peptide or two bond no no this is a di peptide but it contain one peptide bond now you can extend the the structure further means this cooh is again available to make a new peptide bond with the next amino acid when the next amino acid will come then that carboxyl group will make a bond with the NH2 group of the next amino acid again there will be a peptide bond and this NH2 is also available to make a bond with the incoming amino acid but this NH2 will focus the COOH group of the next amino acid so the chain will go like this if this is a peptide bond then the chain can go either on the right side can grow up and it it can also grow up on the left side making us 
a polypeptide chain. So that was the topic how peptide bond is formed. I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much. Give us a like if you understand and also subscribe and share with your friends. Bye.